Are you asking yourself right now, am I an alcoholic? Maybe you drank too much over the weekend, maybe you've said the wrong thing, maybe you're drinking a lot and you go, wow, maybe I am an alcoholic, this is getting a little bit too crazy. Relax, we're gonna figure it out for you right now, okay? Uh, but first, you may wanna reduce or quit alcohol. Uh, if you wanna grab a free book that I wrote, it's called The 30 Day No Alcohol Challenge, How to Reduce or Quit Alcohol. There's a little link in the About section of this video down below and just an annotation up here as well. So, uh, I used to drink a lot. I was probably what you call a social drinker. Uh, I drank, uh, you know, three or four drinks a night, a couple times a week, uh, you know, midweek, and then on the weekends I'd really turn it on and I would binge drink, you know, I'd chug pitchers of beer or I'd have Sunday afternoon um, uh, mojitos with friends and, uh, you know, wake up feeling on, on a Sunday or Monday or Tuesday feeling like hungover and going, oh my God. And then I'd go out and drink with colleagues or friends on a Monday, Tuesday night, and I was like, am I an alcoholic? Uh, and I kind of broke it up into five types of drinkers. Um, uh, the occasional drinker, the social drinker, the binge drinker, the compulsive drinker, and then the addictive drinker, which is what you might uh, term an alcoholic, okay? So uh, these are my little notes here, by the way. Uh, if you're an occasional drinker, it means that, you know, on occasion, you might have a drink or two. Maybe you're celebrating something. No big deal. If you're a social drinker like I was, I was between sort of like a social binge and a compulsive drinker. Social drinker means that when you go out and you're, you're with friends or family, you're drinking and maybe you drink a little bit too much. Sometimes you get hangovers, but you think you've got it under control. Okay, so you're not really an alcoholic then. If you're a binge drinker, it means that you probably don't drink during the week or you drink very little, but then you go out on the weekend and you just turn it on. I mean, you go crazy. You like drink, you like drink pitchers of beer, you have vodkas, you got tequila, soda, whatever, and you go really, really hard. Um, this doesn't necessarily mean that you're an alcoholic either, by the way, it just means that um, you're a binge drinker. But that's not healthy for you, I gotta, I gotta say, okay? It's really, really not healthy. Um, and, then, uh, and then you've got the, uh, the compulsive drinker. The compulsive drinker where it's like, you get stressed out and you need a drink, you feel like you need a drink to relieve you of your stress. Again, this doesn't mean that you're an alcoholic, it just means that you're compulsive about drinking. If you feel like you need a drink to relieve you of your stress, okay, then we've got to look at that. But it, again, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're an alcoholic. Uh, and then of course you've got the addictive drinker, which is an alcoholic, which is what, like you need a drink to function. You know, like you, you cannot get through the day without a drink. You're drinking, maybe you're drinking in the morning or maybe you're drinking at daytime, but you absolutely need it, otherwise you just, your life falls apart without it. Um, now look, just to be clear, I am not uh, a, a doctor, okay? I'm just a guy who was uh, between a social drinker, a binge drinker, and a compulsive drinker for a number of years. And then I quit, I quit alcohol for 30 days, and then I just stayed quit because I felt amazing. Uh, I lost weight, my skin improved, my relationships uh, improved dramatically, I was happier. Everything about my life just improved dramatically when I quit, uh, and when I stayed quit. Um, so uh, if you are drinking heavily, like on the weekends and, and binge drinking and you're tired of being hung over, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're an alcoholic, but it does mean that you might wanna reduce or quit alcohol. You might wanna re-explore your relationship with alcohol. If you feel like you need a drink, like you have to have a drink and you need it to be able to function, please do um, consult a doctor and get professional advice. You may wanna read my book, uh, it's completely free. The 30 day no alcohol challenge, how to reduce or quit alcohol. There's a link down below uh, in the about section that you can read that. Uh, or if you don't do that, just, just look at ways in which you can break this addiction of alcohol, okay? Because if you need it to get through the day, then we really gotta look at that. But if you just drink a lot and you're tired of feeling tired all the time and you've put on a few pounds and you look weathered in the face and you're not functioning, your relationships suck, then maybe you want, might want to reduce or, or quit alcohol for a little, little while as well, okay? So I hope that helped you. Um, you're not necessarily an alcoholic if you drink too much, but you might want to re-explore your relationship with alcohol, okay? Uh, if this was helpful, go ahead and, and like this and leave a comment down below. And if you want to get my free book, uh, The 30 Day No Alcohol Challenge, which kind of teaches you just how to quit for 30 days. Afterwards, you can decide if you want to if you want to, uh, you know, stay quit or not, you don't have to, you can always go back, but at a far reduced rate, then again, just click the link in the bio below. All right, catch you on the next one.